Welcome to Going Beyond the Scale again, and today's three things. So, first three things. First three thing? First thing. I'll get this right. That's what's great about being alive. You don't worry about if you mess something up because that's how life is. You just keep going on. I am going to have Sonia Jones, one of the Biggest Loser contestants. You, I'm sure you know Sonia. She was on season 16. Um, amazing story, amazing transformation. Uh, she wrote a great book called 44 Lessons from a Loser, Navigating Life with Laughter, Prayer, and the Occasional Throat Punch. Um, let's put it this way. I'm not going to give it away, but if you don't know her story, you will learn from this book how because of one pound, um, which is basically well, one of my trusted pieces of one pound fat here. Hold on. Got it by my side. This one pound of body fat was what caused her to not win the biggest loser prize for season 16 of $250,000. So anyway, great book. Um, go check her out on Instagram. Go check her out on her website. If you don't know her book, get her book. And if you have any questions, um, DM me or put um, any comments here. And when I bring her on, probably in about two weeks now, it looks like we're, that's where we're going to be doing it. Um, I'll have her on the Going Beyond the uh, Scale podcast. So anyway, Sonia Jones, 44 Lessons from a Loser. That's number one. Number two, um, one of my favorite books. I've had this for like five years. It's got these little snippets of things. Every once in a while, I go back in and I want to check in on something just to kind of refresh myself. Um, very simple premise. I know you've probably heard it before, um, but the premise is about the fact that clutter, and let me say it this way. When I talk about well-being, I talk about everything. Your thinking, um, what you're eating, your exercise, your movement, your emotions, your relationships. A big one, a big, 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 big one is your environment. And I have gone from having a four-bedroom house, which had a ton of stuff through it, to where Kim and I are, are in a two-bedroom apartment, which I absolutely love because we got rid of all kinds of things. It's like mentally lightened the load where I don't have all this stuff I have to worry about. I don't have any landscaping to do, whatever. I'm just going to tell you it's very free. So if you are living a very cluttered life in your environment, as we go into the fall and winter, I'm going to tell you, you're going to probably be back inside again. If you haven't done it during, during COVID, this is a good time to do it. Go back in, even take a closet, take a room, take a drawer, and start to declutter. So this is what is said, very short from this particular book. Clutter is the junk food of the home. I want you to really consider that when you're walking around your house and looking what's there or your apartment. Cleaning it out ungunks the gears and gets energy moving again. Your soul and brain feel better and function more smoothly in a place that's been purged of extraneous objects. So throw out junk. Find a person, or in parentheses, they say, or an organization. Goodwill is great. There's a lot of organizations that will help you remove that. Um, to donate useful items in an ongoing way. And that's the thing. It's ongoing. It's not a one and done. You want to really be aware of it. What you're bringing into the house, what you're leaving in the house, and what you're actually letting go. Or giving to somebody else to be more useful. So set up a system for organizing keepsakes. And most important, buy less stuff. So I know for myself... We don't buy nearly as much stuff as we used to. We're much more um, aware of it. It's very freeing. I'm going to tell you, when you come into fall and winter right now, as we get into the new year, if you really want to make a change, this has been a rough year for a lot of people. Now is the time in the next few months. Literally go through and do an audit of your house, your clothes, your drawers, whatever, and start to declutter. Give things away. Move it out. Open up. Create space and opportunities. As you can see even here in my office, I do have my bike behind me. I do have a plan, I have some books, whatever. But generally speaking, there's just a sense of freedom where I'm not encumbered by a bunch of junk driving me crazy, okay? That's number two. Number three, I love to say usually something food-related. Um, if you've been following anything that I've been doing, you know that I've been doing um, keto. My keto experiment today is day 19 of 122. That just basically means I started 19 days ago. By the end of the year, before the new year, it's 122 days. So I'm doing my own personal experiment to see how my body reacts, my mind to body reacts to keto. So far, so good. It's been great. I've really enjoyed it. Um, and I don't eat tons of carbs anyway, but I'm getting used to the idea of more healthy fats into my system, which is good for brain health, as Dr. Eamon lets us know about brain health. Um, but one of the things that I found is I prepare. You guys know I cook a lot. I love to cook. 
I make cauliflower buns. I do lots of cauliflower pizza, whatever. But it was a Trader Joe's, one of my favorites. And I found these Parmesan Folios cheese wraps. Each one of these cheese wraps is 180 calories. And what I like about it is that it's a quick go-to that I could just kind of, you know, you're, you're in the middle of doing whatever you're doing, you're busy, and you don't want to fiddle with a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm, I have not, I honestly, I have not eaten any of these yet, um, but they look really, really good. I mean, how bad can they be? It's freaking Parmesan cheese wrap. Um, so I went to their website, looked at some of their recipes, looked at their Instagram posts. All that information is in here. You want to take a look at that. I have a couple other ones, uh, some other things that I picked up from Trader Joe's, or some other wraps. I'm experimenting, test driving with some different kinds of wraps, um, which I'll share with you guys as well. Last but not least, I'm going to be a broken record, but I'm going to tell you, life-changing book here, Smartphone Fit. It's free. Go to smartphonefit.com. Download the book because I'm working on right now a course that's a game changer that's going to be releasing this fall. I will be back with you and let you know some more about it. But you can get the book for free. You can start to you know digest it, start to understand some of the things that I've learned, which is really this is the Bible to why I've been able to keep my weight off since Biggest Loser. The biggest question people ask me all the time, how have you managed to keep your weight off since Biggest Loser? Last but not least, please go to my Facebook group, my new Facebook group, which is Going Beyond the Scale. Yes, I will talk about weight loss. Yes, I will talk about maintenance. I will talk about food. I will talk about exercise. But primarily what I'm driving here is new thinking, new ideas, new things to give you some freedom around whatever's working or not working for you in the world of your well-being. And it's the type of thing that what I'm sharing will work with anything you're doing. I don't care if you're doing whatever it is. It doesn't matter. Smartphone fit, literally, and going beyond the scale is all about how to support what you're doing right now in your life and what you want to be able to do. Fall, winter, before we hit the new year, this is the time to get your head aligned in a place that's going to really serve you in 2021 where hopefully by then we're kind of back to whatever the new normal is. It's a place where we're really living our best lives. So anyway, thanks again for your generosity of time. Ran a little bit long today, but I'm hopeful that this is useful. Please put any comments in, share with other people. Thanks, and I'll see you guys probably tomorrow. I might even see you later today.